One thing that I would recommend if you're like myself, <laughs> you're a girl and you want to protect your data privacy, is to try not to use public and open Wi-Fi networks. I'm really bad about this, but it's it's completely worth doing. And if you do have to do so, use an incognito browser. You also want to try to use strong passwords. So passwords that are not easily guessable because the process for hacking passwords is now automated. So you can, so something a machine can usually determine by permutations and combinations what a person's password is, if it's too short and if it's easy or just letters. So I would recommend using a strong password that is a mix of both special characters, letters and numbers and make it pretty lengthy. And that would be a good thing to protect your privacy. If you can use two-factor authentication, a lot of websites do use this now. So if you're using an external device, it will ask you to also log in with an approved device so you're, it's so that it can verify that it is you who's logging in. Another thing that I also do because I use Gmail or any kind of email is to look at the log to see who has been, who has logged in uh, recently. And you can see where they've logged in and you can see how many people are logged into your email. So it's one way of checking that you're the only person who's been logged in because sometimes if you're on things like public computers, Let's say you're in a library or using something that's somewhere that's not just your personal computer. You always want to make sure that you're the only person who's logged in and you want to secure and sign out of places that you are not logged into. So I would recommend doing that. And I would also recommend changing your passwords pretty frequently.